Well, hello there, everyone. Your friendly programmer here, back with another video. Today, I'm very excited because because we get to create our or we get to generate our map or our playing field for our game. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to first create the map in our um, in Paint, and we're going to go ahead and import that into our program and we're going to parse that image and we're going to load in different game components based on that that image that we create and so after this video we will have our map our game um, up and ready to go and it will be the entire first level for our Mario game. So I'm very excited, I hope you're all very excited as well, and with that, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add this folder called level into our game. So you're going to see this level folder in the description of this video and inside here you're gonna we're gonna have three PNG files and each of these represent some game object some something that gets generated into our map and so you can go ahead and copy this into your res folder and after that we're gonna go ahead and import it into a game so I already moved this folder into our res folder so after that we can go ahead and import it so to do that you want to just right click the game and do refresh and there it is our level so now it's imported into our package folder and we can go ahead and just open it up here so we can see what it looks like so it's a very small image and oops, let's go ahead and Pauses. Okay, and you notice um, it's actually very difficult to see. So let's actually open this up in Paint because um, there's some stuff I want to show you in Paint as well. So let's go ahead and open with Paint, and here we have the file. Let's go ahead and zoom in. And so this is the map for our first level. So you'll notice there's the ground here. And you notice that there's a bunch of pixels everywhere. These pixels represent different game objects. For example, these are going to be our pipes, these four things right here. And these are going to be different blocks. And these are going to be stairs. And you also notice that each of these are a slightly different shade of gray. Now, to be more precise, um, each of these have a very particular pixel value. So we can go ahead and click this tool, this color picker tool, and we can go ahead and click one of these pixels, and we can go to edit colors. And this will tell us what RGB value, red, green, or blue value, our pixel is made up of. So in this case, it's 100 for all three of these values. And something like this, which I said earlier was going to represent our pipe. We can go ahead and see what this value is. It's 500. So you'll notice that the different game objects and blocks in our game are going to be represented by different pixel values. And that's how we're going to distinguish between what pixels we want to put on the map. Um, so that's how you distinguish a pipe from a floor or a floor from a, a, a brick block um, or a coin block. Okay, and these other ones um, so let's go ahead and open this one. These represent other objects that are going to be created in our game. 
And so this one's going to be the background, so different clouds, different mountains and whatnot. And this one is going to represent, let's go ahead and open it. This one's going to represent different enemies and players and, and um, yeah, that's what this is going to represent. And so we have our three different maps. And the next step is to go ahead and write some code so that we can import that into our game. And so let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and right click this com.game.main package and create a new package in here. And let's go ahead and append dot util here. And let's go ahead and right click this and do new class. And let's call this class level handler. So this is going to allow us, or this class is going to allow us to import our file and then parse, parse the file and load in different game objects to our game. So let's start by creating a couple instance variables at the top. So let's do private final string. So this is going to be our constant parent folder. And let's set that equal to forward slash level. And let's do a semicolon there. So this is just going to represent the parent folder level, which is right here. And then we want to do private buffered image loader loader. And remember, we created this class a while back. And this allows us to load in images. Um, and let's do private buffered image image. And remember, this is just, let's go ahead and import this. This is just, um, is very similar to an image. It's just an image with some additional functionality. And it's, and let's go ahead and do private handler, handler, which is just, and let's go ahead and import this. And make sure you import the right one. And this is just so that we can get our different game objects, right? So the handler holds all of our games and our players and our player. And now let's go ahead and create a constructor for this class. So let's do public level handler and let's do handler handler. And in here let's do this dot handler is equal to handler. And let's do loader is equal to new buffered and let's add a space here new buffered image loader. So this is just setting our handler to whatever um, object we pass into our constructor. And then we're going to initialize a new loader, uh, a new buffered image loader. And after that, let's go ahead and do public void start. And in here, we're going to call a couple methods that we're going to create um, right after. So set level, and let's pass in parent folder, and let's concatenate that with forward slash one underscore one dot png. And let's do load characters parent folder plus one underscore one c dot png. So these are going to contain all of the logic to import our our level png uh, files and it's going to contain the logic to parse that and 
create the different game objects um, as specified in those files. And so let's go ahead and start with the set level. So let's do public void set level. And in here, let's pass in stream.